guys, it's Julia and welcome back to my channel and for today's video I'm going to be talking about the books that I hope to read in the month of May. So in May I have a few books here that I want to read as well as my TBR for the Buzzwordathon. So the Buzzwordathon is going to be hosted by Dylan from Dylan the Reader 5 and Lala or Kayla from Books and Lala, two people that I absolutely love here on BookTube. This readathon is going to be going from May 7th to the 13th. Basically the concept of this is you use the buzzword girl and you can read any books that have G-I-R-L in the title. So. First up, we'll start with that TBR. So I'm hoping, I have three books here that I'm hoping to get to. So first I have Is Fat Girl on a Plane? And this is by Kelly Dovis. This book is about a fashion blogger who is going to New York City and she has to pay for two seats on the plane due to her weight. This book is just about her career. Um, it deals with body positivity and it deals with body image and body positivity. And it's supposed to be really good. It comes out in June, so I'm super excited to read this one. Um, HCC Frenzy sent me an arc of this one. Um, I received it at an event that I went to with them and I'm just super excited to see how um, body image is explored in this book. This is also a debut novel so I'm really looking forward to this one. I have Girl Interrupted and this is by Susanna Cahason and all I know about this one is that it, it takes place in a psychiatric hospital so I'm looking forward to seeing what this one is going to tackle. Um, there's obviously so many books out there that deal with topics of mental health and mental illness, so I'm interested to see how this book is going to handle it. And I know it's not like a new release, like it's a, it's an older book, not older book, but it's like, it's definitely been around for a bit, maybe, like for 10 years, maybe. I'm probably wrong, but this book, I'm just looking forward to seeing how it's going to handle these topics and I do really enjoy reading books about mental health and recommending them to you guys as well. And then this is their like buddy read. You don't have to read it but you can and that is Undead Girl Gang by Lily Andrews. I love this cover. Like when I saw the photo of it I was like yeah it's cute but then when you get it in person I'm like nice. So these two girls die under suspicious circumstances, refuses to believe anyone's explanation that her best friend was involved in a suicide pact. Instead, armed with a tube of lip gloss and ancient gamore, does the unthinkable to cover the truth. She brings the girls back to life. It sounds really weird, but really interesting, and I'm looking forward to seeing what this is really about. It sounds really weird, and <laughs> we'll see how it goes. <laughs> So on to the just other books that I want to read this month. I'm hoping to get through A Court of Frost and Starlight by Sarah J Maas. This is the no the novella, the 3.5 in the Aquatar series. And I'm looking forward to this one because I miss this world. I really do. And I'm excited to that this one is this book is actually dual POV as well. So it's recent and Feyre. We get both of them. And I'm interested in it. Since it's come out, I have heard like mixed things. Like no one that I know has finished it yet, but people who are reading it right now say it's really slow. So I hope it's good. Um, it is very short. I don't think I've, I don't think I've ever would have. I, I would never have thought to see a Sergey Mass book this tidy in my life. But this, um, hopefully, it's good. I, I really hope it is. And two books that I'm currently reading that I want to talk about that I'm like need to finish. <laughs> that I'm going to finish actually because I can't not finish them. Um, First up is 1984 by George Orwell. I talked about that I'm reading this for school, so I've only read like a little bit of it at this point, but I have to read the whole, like I'm, I have to tab the whole thing and do a bunch of notes. So this one is like not like a one sitting kind of read for me, but I'm enjoying it so far. Actually, like nothing has really happened yet, but then again, I'm like 30 pages into it, so I don't really expect anything big to happen, but it's about society running by big brother and like everybody's monitored and it's it's a lot <laughs> that's like it's not a good description but hopefully i'll be able to tell you guys more about it when i finish it last but not least i have wild blue wonder and this book um is by carly sorciak and i know i butchered that so i apologize but this i was sent for review by hcc frenzy so thank you so much to them i requested this one and this book comes out on june 18th so this is about so far i have read like 10 pages so nothing really but this is about a summer camp and it's 
a magical place where blueberries grew and fell in love with her best friend and then this accident happened and it's about the aftermath of that and falling in love is the wildest thing of all so it's, it's a contemporary coming of age kind of story i think there's going to be yeah about love loss and monsters real and imagined so maybe a little bit of magical realism in, in, in there as well and i'm really excited to finish this one i've only read like 10 pages but i'm excited to see how this one's gonna go you guys have it those are the books that i'm hoping to read in the month of may and for buzz buzz word a thought <laughs> let me know your thoughts in the comments down below and if you um, are going to be participating in the readathon or not and what you guys are going to be reading this month and that is all for now thank you so much for watching subscribe if you're new like this video if you enjoyed it and i'll, and I'll see you all super soon with a new video bye Yeah.